Hello and welcome to the Managing Packages with NPM course. And now this is for the APIs and microservices certification. And this one we're going to be looking at the Node Package Manager and the package.json file. So in this one we're just going to look at the general structure of a Node project as well as I'm going to show you how to actually submit your projects or you submit the challenges for this course. So when you start a new project, npm generates something called a package.json and this lists all the packages and dependencies as well as other information about our project. And since they're regularly updated, the package.json allows you to set version numbers so that updates don't break the project. So if I had a project like this, we'd, in the root folder of an npm project, we have this file called package.json and inside it we have for example, a list of dependencies. So this one needs Axios and Express. And there's also a lot of other information about that package that we can provide right here. Now, what it says is NPM saves the packages in either one of two places. And it's in a folder called Node Modules. And you can have it in the global Node Modules folder. So in your, wherever your node is installed, so I have it here. If you go into, um, I think it's lib and then node modules, you can install node modules globally here. So these are the packages and any project can access them. But also if you go into any specific project, the project itself has a node modules folder. And here you can put packages or node will put packages in here that are just for this project. And this is better because you can use different versions. Yeah, and like it says here, yeah, it's better to install it locally. So for this, we have to use something called Glitch to submit these challenges. So I'm gonna just gonna show you how to get set up on this. So first, just go to glitch.com like this, and then um, sign into it. And I'm just gonna sign in through Google. Okay, so then you wanna open up this repository on GitHub. And where it says code, just where it says clone with HTTPS, just click the clipboard button to copy this link. And go back to Glitch and then click new project and then click import from GitHub. And then paste it in right here. And then press OK. And this will take a couple of seconds to do this. And it's still importing here. So now it says import successful. And as you can see, we've got a node project ready to go. So we have a package.json right here. The node modules is hidden, but um, it is there in the actual project. But as long as we have this package.json, we're ready to go. And whenever we want to submit something from this, you just click share, live app, copy this right here, and then paste that in and submit it. So now that we've got a node project working, we're ready to get started now.